Good morning, everyone. I wanted to make a quick video just to discuss something with you that um, they went over with our lead meeting yesterday. Uh, Nicole Kirkendall, who's our testing coordinator for SOLs, um, was really concerned because she's put out the proctoring schedule and she's had um, a lot of teachers come back on her about not being able to come in on Wednesday. I'm not working on Wednesday, things like that. So um, I just wanted to tell you the way it was told to us. Wednesdays are a teacher contracted workday. You are uh, expected to work um, normal hours on Wednesdays. And uh, it's not supposed to be days that you can make appointments for doing whatever personal things you need to do. Um, of course, you could do that after contracted hours. However, when you are put on that proctoring schedule for SOLs, you are expected to proctor. Um, now, if you're sick or something, that's a whole nother story, but um, nobody from the science department, but there have been several teachers in the building um, that have been giving Nicole a hard time about it. Um, so just want to let you know, um, you can look over Ashley sent out the, uh, the message yesterday with the information in it um, saying we weren't going to meet officially today, but I felt like I needed to do just a little video message uh, to explain this all to you. So basically, here's your takeaways from this. From our message here. Um, you really need to look at the proctoring schedule every day because it's one of those documents that's going to change on a regular basis. Nicole's doing the best that she can, but you know that with the registration, especially on Wednesdays and stuff for kids taking it, just double check every day that she sends it out to make sure that you are not on it. And if you are, make sure that you are aware for the proctoring duties during the days that we are in the building, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, you need to arrive to your proctoring location by 7.20 a.m. And if you are scheduled to proctor on a Wednesday, please arrive to the school and your proctoring location by 7 a.m. I know it's a little earlier, um, she did say that generally on Wednesdays, you will be done by like 1130, you know, at the latest. Um, so you will have pretty much your afternoons free to do what you need to do. Just saying. All right. Uh, like I said, keep in mind that Wednesday is a contract and normal teacher workday. And we've been given the luxury of working from home so far. What we've been told, because apparently this is a problem throughout the district, that if teachers start not showing up for proctoring on Wednesdays, the district's going to make it a requirement for all teachers to come in every Wednesday to work from the building regardless. So don't screw it up for everybody, please. Um, so, you know, just don't make appointments of any kind for Wednesday mornings from now until the end of the year. Um, reserve Wednesday mornings for possible proctoring duties should they arise. Um, and again, just if, if you become ill, same, same things applies. We don't want you in the building or if you have a child that you have to stay home with because they're sick uh, or something has happened where you cannot come in that's legitimately uh, a reason why you wouldn't come to work. Um, you know, let Nicole Kirkendall know immediately. Um, you can also try to switch proctoring duties with another teacher as well. We've done that in the past. So uh, yeah, and then of course my famous DYFJ for those of y'all who know what that means. If you don't, you can consult with a, a, a former uh, or a colleague of yours from um, Minchville that's been in the science department here for a while. All right, guys, if you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to ask me or Ashley um, about this. So um, hope you have a great day and hopefully that clarified stuff for everybody.